Hi, folks. Welcome once again to A Voice in the Desert. Uh, thank you for joining us. Today, we're going to be speaking about a very special topic, okay? Uh, it's one that most churches avoid, okay? A lot of people avoid to talk about this because it's not mainstream, okay? People like to hear mostly, you know, all the good things from the Bible, but don't like to hear, you know, the bad part, okay? The part that causes the evil, okay? Um, today's podcast, Series 5, is going to be titled, Meet Belial the Demon. Yes, the demon. Does failure and frustration seem to be your lot in life? Is your life characterized by continual setbacks and misfortunes? Missed opportunities? Bad luck? Does it appear as though no matter what you do in life, you cannot seem to obtain the blessings of the Lord. Well, let me tell you that you may just be bonded by a curse that is demonic and has been around for ages. You might think I'm out of my mind in talking about this topic. Okay. However, there are things in the Bible that points to the demise of our country and ourselves and our loved ones. Let us not, let us not be fooled. For if we believe in Christ, we also have to acknowledge the existence of Satan. Since Satan is the prince of this air, and he is not omnipresent or omnipotent, that means he needs soldiers in his army because he cannot be everywhere at once and fight everyone at once. So when Lucifer, the angel of light, was thrown out of heaven because he wanted to be like God, and during that revolt, many angels that were on his hide, they were expelled along with their ringleader down to the lowest depths of the earth. So from the moment Lucifer, meaning the angel of light, was expelled, so was his name also changed. And it was changed to what, folks? Do you remember? That's right. It was changed to Satan to mean the adversary. So Satan, since being expelled, has had ages of practice in setting up his army, and his army does have structure, like major demons, minor demons, but nevertheless, they are demons, okay? I want to bring to you the attention of one of Satan's major demons, okay? A strong, a strong man, okay? That's how it's called sometimes in the Bible. Many of the curses that can affect a person's life can come as a result of the wicked and the vile spirits in the kingdom of darkness, the spirit of Belial. That's correct. The name of the spirit is Belial. You might be saying, where am I getting all this from? But before I tell you, I must say that churches are falling churches are failing, are deviating from the real sort of the Bible, which is God's word. That's why our schools, where our children attend, have become war zones for their very souls. Ever since we took prayers out of school, there's been mass shootings in our schools, um, cops in the schools. Okay, and a lot of violence in our schools ever since we took our prayers out of school. Our social degradation as a people, individual, as a nation has become so corrupt because it has turned its back on God. We have taken the Ten Commandments out of our judicial system. We have, our nation was created by God, and to God we have to return. But we have to play our role as true believers of Christ to ensure that happens. When we're speaking of Belial, we're speaking that he is a ruling spirit of wickedness. There is a host of demons that operate under his command, cursing the lives of people. And with this writing, it is my intention being guided by the Holy Spirit to unmask and make known this demon so we can defend against it and be free from bondage. Belial is mentioned 13 times in the Old Testament and once in the New Testament. 
It is translated from Hebrew word Belial, which is translated as Belial. Thirteen times in the Old Testament was it mentioned. This word also translated in other verses of other new versions of Bibles is, it's, um, how can I tell you? It's being described by its sin, okay? By its action, but not by its name. And I don't agree with that in the new versions because it should be mentioned by the name because it tends to be misleading, okay? And you're not able to identify the being, okay? Uh, somewhere, sometimes it's translated as wicked, ungodly, naughty, sodomites, lust, sexual perversion, liar, false testimony, bloody man, and yes, this includes women, but Strong's definition of Belial is without profit, worthlessness, destruction, wickedness, evil. But the most common of these definitions is worthlessness. Okay? So this devil, this demon, okay, is characterized as worthlessness. Okay? So now you know where we got this. And yes, I got this from the Word of God, the Bible. You might tell me then, if that is true, why don't most churches talk about it? I believe, I believe it's because of the modern times we live in. Most people don't believe it. It's thought as a taboo for whatever reason. But today, here at A Voice in the Desert, we're going to uncover this demon. We're going to show you how it works and especially how to defeat it. Here is one of the first times this demon is mentioned, and I want you, please look it up for yourself also, okay? It's in Deuteronomy 13.13, 13, okay? It's in the King James Version, and it starts like this. Certain men, the children of Belial, are gone out from among you and have withdrawn the inhabitants of their city, saying, let us go and serve other gods which ye have not known. This is a prime example of what this demon does. It takes people away from God. It deviates from them, okay? And it brings them into uh, evil teachings, okay? Evil doings, okay? Here is the verse um, also that I'm going to talk to you about. Uh, that shows that Belial works also within women. And this is located in the first Samuel uh, chapter 1, verse 16. Count not thy handmaid for a daughter of Belial, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hereon to. Oh my God. So even this demon works among women. Okay. It has no limits, okay? We also see how this demon even dares to curse God and his creation, us, the Israelites. Here is the verse. I want you to look up 2 Samuel 20, verse 1. Chapter 20, verse 1, 2 Samuel. And there happened to be a man of Belial, whose name was Sheba, the son of Betri. A Benjamite. And he blew a trumpet and said, We have no part in David, neither we have inheritance in the son of Jesse. Every man to his tent, O Israel. So this man Sheba is saying, Write to the men of David, okay? We are not of you, okay? We are not of Jesse or David. And you have to know that. The descendant, that Jesus came from the descendants of David. So they are cursing God. Okay? Saying, we're not like you. We're not part of you. Okay? So that goes to show you that Belial is against everything that is of God and will try to destroy it. Okay? By the commands of the evil one, Satan. Okay? Um, here goes another verse. Wow, this one is uh, it's gonna tell you about an example of this demon and a false witness. Okay, 
You're going to find this in 1 Kings chapter 21, verse 10 through 13. And set two men, sons of Belial, before him to bear witness against him, saying, Thou didst blasphemy God and the king, and then carried him out and stoned him, that he may die. And men of this city, even the elders and the nobles who were there, inhabitants of this city, did as Jezebel, I want you to remember this name, Jezebel, has sent unto them, and as it was written in the letters which she has sent unto them, they proclaimed the fast and set Naboth among the people. And then came in two men, children of Bilal, and sat before him. And the men of Bilal witnessed against them, even against Naboth, the king, in the presence of the people, saying, Naboth did blasphemy God and the king. And they carried him forth out of the city and stoned them to death. Okay? They killed them. They stoned them. Why? Because they, bla they, they, um, they raised, uh, bared false witness. They lied, in other words, okay, against this man, okay? And remember the part where I mentioned Je Jezebel? Remember earlier I was saying that he has an army? Well, guess what? Jezebel is the cohort, okay, to Belial, okay? She works for that strong man, okay? So usually where you see Belial, you will see Jezebel working together, They'll be working together, okay, to bring the men of God down, okay? So we have to be very careful, okay? And this we will know. Why? Because the modern church is not teaching us this, okay? Um, and that really keeps me upset because the Lord gave us his word, okay, for protection, for blessing, okay? And we're not using it and we're not reading it. And that's why we are being caught with all words and thoughts of every type of philosophy um, sect that comes around. Well, the Apostle Paul prophesied, okay, and this is what I was just talking about. In the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. This is located in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, King James Version. To seduce men means to lead away, to persuade to disobedience or disloyalty, to lead astray by persuasion or false promise, to attract, to allure. The Living Bible translation of this verse says, Some in the church will turn away from Christ. Okay? And when we say people turning away from Christ, turning away from the church, Okay, this is known as the apostasy. Okay, I believe that these are the times that we are actually living in. As we see many different sects, religions, many churches um, alternating and distorting the word of God, the Bible. Some churches have abandoned the faith because of the spirit of Belial to the point that homosexuals have been ordained as priests or pastors. What an abomination. If you see a church like this, run for your life. Literally, run for your life. Okay? Because we all know that homosexuality is an abomination to our God. Okay? And we can see who produces that type of behavior. Okay? It is the demon Belial. Okay? And I say, God, make us watchmen on the walls to guard against such spirits. When we do see them, may the Holy Spirit lead the church to dismiss this demon. The spirit of Bilal causes selfishness and refuses to help the poor. God, protect us from this spirit and becoming selfish. God, the spirit of Bilal is so perverted that it watches for strangers to visit your people and then it demands that the stranger be given to perverse men and women to satisfy their homosexual desires. Where are you going to find this? 
You're going to find this in Judges 19, verse 22. Okay? Keep me watch over, Lord, for those who would be stolen away by the homosexual lusts of Belial. Make me a strong wall of protection and my home a locked fortress against the sin. I pray, Father, you called the sons of Eli priests in your temples, the son of Belial, who were living in sin, even as they pretended to be men of God. You're going to read this in 1 Samuel 2, uh, verse 12. Even they made believe that they were men of God, but that they were sons of Belial, even though their father served God. Okay? Protect the men and women who have accepted your calling to ministry and shield them from the hidden sins that will lead them away from you. Break the power of sin from their lives and keep them true and honorable shepherds who lead your people into righteousness. Father, like Eli's son, so many church leaders and men of God today have fallen prey to the spirit of Belial and have ended up broken, bound by sin, and unworthy to serve as your shepherds. Help me to pray and intercede for your shepherds. Break the power of Belial to lead your servants astray. Keep them pure and holy and blameless before God, before the people they are leading. Father, put a hedge of protection over these men and women of God. And if any of they shall fall prey, may you bring things into them that realize that they need a saving knowledge of this attack that they are under and that you may deliver them. Okay, so they can serve as testimony against the spirit of Belial and be called again to serve you, Lord. Only you can forgive them and redeem them. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's for our men, these pastors, okay, these preachers, these evangelists that are preaching the word. They are under constant contact by um, uh, constant attack by these demons. And we need to keep these men of prayer. Okay, we need to pray for them every single day, okay, and bring them before the Lord. God, help me to recognize the lying witnesses in America today who mock the godly principles of this nation was founded on. Attempt to convince others of the ungodliness is right. Unmask the spirit of Belial in the voices of those who lobby for ungodly practices and rules who attempt to water down the righteousness principles of this nation and lead us into sinful acts and behavior. Right the wrongs that have crept into our justice system, into our schools, government, and that are attempting to lead this nation into sinful practices. Dear Lord, make me, make us strong against Belial. When it attempts to make me doubt, of what you have called me or us to do or attempts to make me or us inadequate or inept make me and us powerful through your spirit and defeat the spirit of Belial from my life God give us the courage to curse the spirit of Belial destroy it from my lives from the lives of others from the lives of believers so it cannot tear down the protective spiritual walls of our hearts and lead us into evil God in times of illness and physical distress keep my eyes focused and my heart strong in my faith that you heal me the spirit of Belial will try to tell me as it says in Psalms chapter 41, verse 8, help me to reject the voice of Belial that would whisper defeat, destruction, death into my ear. Raise me up to strength and physical wholeness by your power and block the tauntings of Belial from my ears and my sight. Well, my dear listeners, I hope I've given you a new sense of urgency that what you are battling today, though it affects your flesh, their beginnings is in the spiritual realm. Therefore, arm yourself with the full armor of God. Be a powerful warrior 
prayer warrior of God. If you are to defeat this demon, we see in the news and in our lives the hurts, damage, and destruction that the Spirit is leading around the world. I pray a hedge of protection around your life and that of your family and friends. Be aware at all times. And as a son and daughter of God, you can pray against this demon with the blood of Jesus Christ to be gone and that there is no room in the inn for it. Tell Belial to get out of your life. Pray against it. Let the heavens of angels come down and help you. Ask your father and he shall deliver you. If you have not given your life to Christ, or you have had a falling away and want to be a true Christian and a follower and a doer of Christ, okay? Then you want to go ahead and pray this simple prayer with me of salvation. And then you're going to go ahead and find a good local Bible church, okay? So the Lord's blessing be upon you. And this is the prayer of salvation. Pray it with all your heart, okay? The Lord will never reject a contrite heart. Dear God in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge to you that I am a sinner. I am sorry for my sins and the sins that I have lived. I need your forgiveness. I believe that your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, shed his precious blood on the cross at Calvary and died for my sins. And now I am willing to turn from my sin you said in your holy word, Romans chapter 10, verse 9, that if we confess the Lord our God and believe in our hearts that God raised Jesus from the dead, we shall be saved. Right now, I confess Jesus as the Lord of my soul with my heart. I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead. This very moment, I accept Jesus Christ as my own personal Savior according to his word. Right now, I am saved. Thank you, Jesus, for your unlimited grace, which have saved me from sins. I thank you, Jesus, that your grace never leads to license, but rather it always leads to repentance. Therefore, Jesus, transform my life so that I may bring glory and honor to you alone and not to myself. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me and giving me eternal life. Amen. Thank you once again for being with us in this podcast. Um, it's a very important topic. Okay, read more about it. Uh, instruct yourself on the way of the spiritual realm. Okay, do that so the Lord may give you the vision and the wisdom through prayer so you may see into the spiritual world and be able to do battle with it. Defend your family, your friends in this nation. Once again, Thank you. My name is Caesar, and I'm a voice in the desert.